Hi, this is Dave Curtis with Lancis Products. We're here to review uh, the operation of a single bladder joint tester. We have a small prototype that we put together along with our air test panel. The single bladder joint tester, when you go to install it inside of a pipe, first thing you need to do is actually get your dimensions and measurements to make sure that you line up your inflation port directly with the actual joint itself. Again, this prototype is just to mock the simulation of how it goes. Get your joint tester set correctly. From there you can come to the panel and actually begin to start your test. Make sure that with the hoses that are supplied with a joint tester, you do have a safe distance to be away from that joint tester. Please do not be up against the joint tester while you're rolling, uh, while you're doing the actual test. Now we'll move over to actually go to our panel. First thing you do when you go to start your joint test is you're going to get an air source to be able to uh, inflate the bladder to seal the pipe. This is our inlet air source uh, for the bladder side of it. We always want to make sure when you start any of the uh, operation on this uh, joint tester with the panel that your regulator is all the way down, zeroed out, before you open up anything. Now you can go ahead and open up the uh, valve to inflate the bladder and then begin to gently roll your pressure into the joint tester to get this thing to inflate and seal. Lock out the regulator. Close your valve to know that you're locked out on the bladder side. Now we're ready to switch the air source over to begin the actual joint test itself. Now that we've got our air source going to the actual uh, joint test side of this, realizing we're in concrete pipe and by your ASTM standard, that's normally a five second, uh, five PSI test at five seconds. So now we'll be able to open our valve and gently start to work your regulator up to get your pressure on the joint itself. Lock down your regulator. Close your valve. Most inspectors at this point in time would want to see the time to start. Again, realizing we are showing pressure not only on our panel, but actually pressure to the joint itself. Once the inspector or your company has approved the fact that that joint is uh, passing the test and able to uh, move on to the next joint, you can clearly at this point in time exhaust the pressure back through the panel and when you're ready to release the uh, pressure on the bladder itself, same operation to release your pressure from the panel on the joint tester to be able to move it to the next joint. Uh, through some of the training videos that we've done, we want to make sure that you take note to follow all safety precautions and procedures when handling pipe plugs or pipe testing equipment. Make sure you're also following any regulations, whether it be uh, city, state, or county, and follow the guidelines of your confined space entries. So thank you again for taking the time to watch our video, and we look forward to you having a safe day and completing your project correctly.